Welcome to your 30 minute yoga practice, my friend. This class is designed to be an everyday sort of flow because we're gonna find a beautiful balance between stretching and strengthening, as well as cultivating a deeper awareness of our breath, and ultimately a practice where you get to just be with yourself, take care of yourself, and hopefully leave your mat feeling lighter than when you first arrived. If you want some music to flow to, I've linked a playlist below. Hit play as soon as we're on the mat, and I will see you soon. If you've got the playlist ready, let's hit play in three, two, one, go. And here we go. We're gonna start in a child's pose, balasana. So come to a tabletop position and then wiggle your knees out a little bit wider than your hips. Bring your big toes towards one another. Sink your hips back to your heels and then start to melt your chest and your forehead down to your mat reaching fingertips towards the top of your mat, but find a little micro bend in your elbows so that your shoulder blades can soften a little bit further down your back body. Good, and maybe your eyes start to close as you find a few deep breaths, big inhale, expanding your belly, big exhale to empty it all out. Good, two more, full breath in and feel your back body start to expand. And as you exhale, let your hips melt a little heavier towards your heels. One more, full inhale. Full exhale. Awesome, and start to press into your hands, lift your chest and come to a tabletop position, having your wrists under your shoulders, knees underneath of your hips. As you inhale, drop your belly and lift your tailbone, lift your chin. Good, and then exhale, start to round through your spine and tuck your chin into chest. Let's try to move with the breath here. Inhale, belly drops, opening the front body. And exhale to round, pushing the floor away. One more deep inhale and exhale. Amazing, now come to a neutral tabletop and wiggle your knees out just a little bit wider. Bring your right hand at center and inhale to reach your left arm up and open. Find a twist to the left side. As you exhale, thread your left arm underneath of your right and try to drop your left shoulder and your left ear down to the mat keeping your hips stacked over top of your knees. Good, take one full breath here, deep into the space between your shoulder blades and soften into the shape as you exhale. You got it, now push into your right hand, lift and twist back open to the left side, reach left arm up and bring your left hand down right at center. Let's go to the other side, inhale, right arm reaches up, big stretch. And exhale, thread your right arm behind your left, right ear, right shoulder, come down to the mat and feeling a little bit more of a stretch behind that right shoulder blade. Take one intentional breath here, inhale and exhale. Yeah, now push into your left hand, reverse the movement, lift and twist back open to the right side, reach the right arm up and exhale, bring your right hand down. Wiggle your knees so they're back underneath of your hips and reach your right arm forward, hold. Your bicep is in line with your ear, your thumb is pointing up. And then extend your left leg long back and behind you and hold. Good, I want you to think about your low belly drawing in and imagine my hand is on the middle of your back and you're pressing just two inches up into my hand. Yeah, and now reach through opposite directions, find that length and strength at the same time take an inhale as you exhale slowly draw your right elbow towards your left knee round your spine maybe look towards your left knee and then inhale reach your right arm forward extend your left leg long good bring your right hand down to the mat and then guide your left toes over to the bottom right corner of your mat tuck the toes push your left heel back and then gaze over your right shoulder feel that openness in the left side line of your body Big inhale and big exhale. 
Amazing, now bring your torso back to center, lift your left leg back up and sweep it over to the left side. Drop the inner edge of your foot down and rise up, reach your arms up. I'll just turn around to face you. You got it, nice. Now big inhale. As you exhale, left hand melts down, right arm reaches over and maybe open your chest towards the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. Maybe you're inside, maybe you're outside, I don't know. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your right hand down, reach the left arm up and over your ear. So big opening through the side body. One more breath. <sighs> Amazing, now left hand comes down, left knee comes down and find that tabletop. Let's take one cat cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin. And exhale, round through your spine, tuck your chin into chest. Amazing, come back to neutral and reach your left arm forward, bicep in line with your ear. Extend your right leg back when you feel ready and try to keep your right ankle in line with your right hip. Good, again, an engagement of the core. So this means you're thinking about your rib cage wrapping in a little push up through the middle of your back. Full inhale. As you exhale, slowly draw the left elbow towards the right knee, round your spine, maybe look underneath of you. And then inhale, reach your right leg long, reach your left arm long, hold, hold, hold. Left hand comes down. Guide your right leg over to the bottom left corner of your mat. Tuck your right toes and think about pushing your heel back and then send your gaze over your left shoulder. Good, feel that openness through the right side ribs. Take one breath. And bring your torso back through to center. Lift your right leg up and sweep it over to the right side. Good, drop the inner edge of your right foot down and rise up, reach up, big inhale. Exhale, drop your right arm down along your right leg. Left arm is reaching over. With your next inhale, maybe open the chest just a tiny bit more towards the ceiling. Good, breathe in. And exhale, left arm is gonna come all the way down to the mat, right arm reaches up and overhead. Good, breathing into the right side line of your body. Deep inhale, and exhale. Nice, now bring your right hand down, right knee comes down, tabletop position once again, and this time tuck your toes, lift your hips up, reach them all the way back, finding your first downward facing dog, maybe pedal out your heels. Shake out your head, wiggle out your jaw. Notice if there's any tension and try to breathe into those spaces. Inhale and exhale. Feels good to breathe deeply, right? Let's do another one. Full breath in through the nose. Big sigh out of the mouth. Now send your gaze forward and walk your feet up to meet your hands forward fold at the top of your mat. Let your upper body hang heavy over top of your legs. Inhale for a halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins and lengthen out your spine, kind of like an L shape in your body. And exhale, fold, release. Inhale to stand all the way up. Reach your arms up, gaze goes up. And exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold, melt it down. Good, have your right fingertips in front of your right toes. Bend your right knee, bend your right elbow so they connect or they get close together. Bring your left hand to your low back and then open your chest towards the left side. Try to straighten the left leg while your right knee stays bent. Good, now if you want, inhale and reach your left arm up towards the sky. Good, a bit of a twist, and can you feel that sensation running down the outer edge of your left leg? Yes, feels good. One breath, inhale, and exhale. Let the left arm melt down, left fingertips in front of your left toes. Bend your left knee, bend your left elbow, they connect. Right hand comes to your low back. Open your chest to the right side, you got it. Try to straighten out that right leg a little bit more and maybe that right arm starts to reach up, making the shape just a little bit more expansive. Big inhale and exhale. Right arm is gonna melt down, forward fold, let your head drop. Inhale to peel all the way up, reach the arms up, gaze goes up. 
Exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold, melt it down. Good, halfway lift as you breathe in. Try to reach the crown of your head forward and exhale, plant your hands, step one foot back and then the next, landing in your high plank. You can have the toes tucked. Always that option, my friends, to have the knees down, a modified plank as well. Hold it strong and steady. Shoulder blades slide down your back body for five. Fire up your quads, it's four. Hug your low belly in, it's three, two, one. Now lower all the way to your belly. Hug your elbows in alongside your body. Good, and then bring your feet out as wide as the mat. Tops of the feet are grounded. Have your arms outside of the mat and tent your fingers so your elbows are stacked over your wrists. Inhale, push into the fingertips, lift the chest just any amount. And exhale, drop your right shoulder, look over to the left side. Good, inhale to lift through center. Exhale, drop your left shoulder, look over to the right. Inhale, lift back through center. Exhale, melt it all the way down. Bring your hands beside your chest and then just push back to your knees. Send your hips back to your heels. Child's pose, balasana. Let your forehead melt down. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Nice, and then start to shift forward to a tabletop position. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up, reach them all the way back, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. On your next inhale, sweep your right leg up towards the ceiling or the sky. Think about driving up with your heel and your toes are pointing down. Good, now slowly shift forward, guide your right knee through towards your chest, shoulder stack over your wrists, and then plant your foot up in between your hands. Bring your back knee down, untuck the toes, rise up to a low lunge, Anjaneyasana, having your shoulders stacked over top of your hips. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, twist to the right side. Bring your left arm forward, right arm reaches back. Good, spread your fingers. Take up as much space as possible. Stay here, or right hand comes to your low back, and inhale, reach the left arm up. Good, find a little bit of a lift, and then maybe a tiny little back bend, only if it feels good. Inhale, and exhale. Nice, now bring your left hand all the way down to the mat, right hand comes down as well, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, reach your arms forward and rise up to a high lunge, crescent warrior, back heel stays lifted. Big inhale, exhale, arms are gonna come right down in front of you. Cross your right arm under your left, Hold on to opposite shoulders, or maybe reach the right fingers for your left thumb. Wherever you are, try to have the elbows right in line with your shoulders. Good, maybe a little more of a lift of the elbows, a lift of your heart and your chest. Good, strong in the legs, breathe in. And breathe out. One more, inhale. And exhale. Nice, now unwind the arms, take a cactus shape, squeeze between the shoulder blades, full inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to frame your front foot. Step your right foot back to meet your left, landing in your plank of choice. You're on the toes or on the knees, hold for three, two, one. Now lower halfway or all the way, Chaturanga Dandasana, elbows close to the side body. Inhale to push the floor away, lift your heart, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips up, reach them all the way back, downward facing dog. Whew, there's a little bit of a heat. <laughs> Good, welcome all of it in, every sensation, every bit of movement that you feel. Breathe in. And breathe out. Next inhale, left leg is gonna lift up, squeeze to lift, three-legged downward facing dog, and slowly shift forward, draw your left knee towards your chest, shoulders are gonna stack over top of the wrist, and then ground your left foot up in between your hands, bring your right knee down, untuck the toes, lift the chest, lift the arms, low lunge, press into all four corners of your left foot. Good, stay as you are, take an inhale, as you exhale, ooh, twist to the left side, right arm forward, left arm reaches back. 
Good. Try to extend as much as you can in opposite directions. Big breath in, big breath out. Now bring your right hand down, left arm comes down to frame the foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee up, reach your arms forward, rise on up, high lunge. Back heel is gonna stay lifted and push heavy into that left foot. Good, take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your arms right out in front of you. This time, left arm crosses under the right. Hold on to opposite shoulders. This can be your bind, or maybe left fingers reach for the right thumb. Good, option to stay right here. If it feels good, honor that. If you're looking for a little bit more or something different, you might start to lift the elbows, lift the heart, keep the strength in your legs as you breathe into the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale. Good, one more full breath in and full breath out. Awesome, unwind the arms, take a cactus shape, opening through the chest, through the shoulders, full inhale and exhale. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Step your left leg back to meet your right. Hold that plank of choice nice and strong. Maybe close your eyes. Embrace your strength from toes or the knees. Good, now think a reverse tricep push-up. Lower halfway or all the way down. Inhale to lift your heart, baby cobra or upward facing dog, finding strength in the line, back line of your body. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips up, reach them all the way back, downward facing dog. Amazing job, my friend, you got this. Try to stay present. Just noticing what you're feeling as you're moving through, right? Trying not to predict, trying not to jump ahead. And instead, taking advantage of this time that you've set aside for yourself, taking care of you, your body, your mind, every bit of who you are. Good, on your next inhale, gaze forward and start to walk your feet up to meet your hands. Forward fold at the top of the mat. Let your upper body hang heavy and then start to peel up slow, 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 slow. Roll the shoulders up towards your ears and back down your spine, palms open, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Maybe close the eyes, take a moment to pause, take a moment to feel. Good, and with your next inhale, reach your arms up and start to bend your knees, sink your hips down and back, Utkatasana chair pose. Yeah, you can have your feet right in line with your hips or you can also bring your feet really close together. You decide on which variation feels best. And if your shoulders are not loving this, then bring prayer hands right in front of your chest. Inhale to lift up two inches. Exhale to sink down two inches. One more, inhale, lift up two inches. Exhale, sink down two inches. Now keep the depth of your squat. Reach your arms up overhead, breathe in. As you exhale, sweep your arms back alongside your body. Bring your chest to your thighs. Look back and behind you. Inhale to lift your chest, reach the arms forward. Keep your legs in that squat. Let's go again. Exhale, sweep it back. Good, and then inhale to reach forward, rise and stand all the way up. Exhale, hinge from your hips, forward fold, melt it down. Halfway lift as you breathe in, hands to the shins, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, forward fold. Good, now push into your fingertips, lift your chest a little bit, step your left leg all the way back, and then drop your left heel down. So look at your feet, it's almost like you've got a line from the front heel to the inner arch of your back foot. And windmill the arms up and open, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Good, your right knee is gonna be tracking in line with your big toe and your second toe. Inhale to reach your right arm up, left arm goes back alongside your left leg. Good, staying strong in your lower body and breathing into the right side body. One more inhale and exhale. Awesome, now straighten through your right leg, open the arms out wide, start to reach forward with the right fingertips, reach, reach, reach. Yeah, and then bring your arms to a bit of a long line, opening up your wingspan, Trikonasana triangle pose. Notice if your right knee is locking back into place, try to find a tiny micro bend, and then think about tucking through your tailbone, maybe send your gaze up. 
Four, inhale. And four, exhale. Amazing, put a bend into your right knee, lift your chest, arms wide, gaze forward, warrior two, full breath in. And full breath out. Yeah, now straighten through your right leg, arms come up, right toes are gonna come in, left toes are gonna turn out, so you're facing the back of your mat. Bend your left knee, arms out wide, warrior two in the other direction. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> Ground heavy into your legs. Good, maybe check in that your left knee is right in line with your big toe and your second toe. Now keep your legs as they are, and as you inhale, reach your left arm up. Right arm goes back alongside your right leg. Good, so can you feel both feet pushing into the mat? And can you feel this lift up through your left fingertips? Inhale, and exhale. Amazing, start to straighten through your left leg. Take your arms out to that T-shape. Palms are gonna open the right side to the right side. And then reach your left fingertips forward. Reach, reach, reach as much as you can. And then open up your wingspan, Trikonasana. Again, you wanna to try to keep the legs fairly straight, but if that left knee requires a little micro bend, you'll know exactly what I mean. If you're like, ooh, this feels a little funky, then give it a little bend, it's all good. Push into the top of your left hand, push it into your left leg, and then open your chest, maybe send your gaze up towards your right arm. Good, breathe in. And breathe out. And start to bend your left knee, arms out wide, warrior two, gazes forward, inhale, and exhale. Straighten through your left leg, bring your arms up, bring your left toes in so they're parallel with the right, hands to your hips, and start to hinge forward for a wide leg fold. Let your upper body drape heavy, let your head go. Good, you might wiggle the feet out wider, you might bring them in a little bit closer but noticing your own expression of the shape and the posture and what would feel good for you. Yeah, and then notice if your weight is shifted into the back of your feet, what does it feel like to shift it into the middle of your feet? Take a full breath. Awesome, and then push into your hands, lift your torso up halfway, bring your right hand at center, inhale, reach your left arm up and open, find a twist to the left side. Good, notice if the left hip lifted, try and plug it down in line with the right. Big inhale. And as you exhale, left hand is gonna come down and replace the right. Inhale, right arm reaches up and open, finding that twist. Right hip is down in line with the left. One full breath. And bring your right hand down, nice. Walk your hands towards the front of the mat. Hands frame your right foot, right toes are pointing forward. And then step your right foot back to meet your left, landing in your plank on toes or knees, lower halfway or all the way, chaturanga. Inhale, push the floor away, opening your front body, press into the tops of your feet. And exhale, send your hips up, reach them back, downward facing dog. Good, full breath in and full breath out. Can you reach your tailbone a little bit higher? Maybe find a micro bend in your knees. Notice how that feels and inhale, big exhale. Awesome, and then bring it down to your knees. Sit back on your heels, hands on your thighs. Take a moment to pause, eyes closed. Feel the breath flow, feel the heartbeat. Maybe feel the heat moving through your body. One more breath. Incredible, now shift off to one hip and bring your legs right out in front of you. Yeah, bend your right knee. Good, and then open your right knee to the right side, kind of like a half butterfly wing. Inhale to reach your arms up. And as you exhale, start to hinge forward, maybe reaching that right arm to the outer edge of your left foot or the outer edge of your left shin. Good, and then that left arm can reach back in behind you. Maybe you just rest your hand on your low back or maybe the left fingertips reach around for that right hip. Full inhale and exhale. 
Good, you might start to put a bend into that right elbow to help guide your chest maybe a little closer towards your left thigh if that's feeling good. And let your head drop a little heavier for this last breath. Good, now inhale to lift your chest all the way up. Bring your right hand behind you, so keep your legs as they are. Push into your right hand, your right knee, and your left heel to lift your hips up and reach your left arm towards the back or the top of your mat. Yeah, big opening through the left side line of your body. Inhale and exhale, lower all the way down. Bring your right foot forward, right leg forward to meet the left. Arms reach up, get nice and lengthened out here. Inhale and exhale, bring your arms back in behind you. Have your fingertips pointing to the back of the mat so they're pointing away from you. Good, now maybe ground your feet or you can stay on the heels. You're gonna push into the floor, lift your hips up, squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another. Again, you can do this with your feet completely grounded. Awesome, deep breath in, full breath out. Slowly lower your hips all the way down, reach your right leg straight, and then open your left knee out to the left side, that half butterfly wing. Inhale, arms reach up. Good, you're doing awesome. Exhale, start to hinge forward and reach that left arm to the outer edge of your right foot or the outer edge of your right leg. And then that right arm is gonna reach towards your low back or maybe fingertips reach a little closer towards that left hip. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, start to put a micro bend into your left elbow and let your chest melt a little heavier towards your thigh. Two more breaths. Good, maybe the eyes close and let your chest drop a little heavier towards your right thigh. Use your next inhale to lift all the way back up. Keep your legs as they are. Bring your left hand behind you. Push into your hand, your knee, and your right heel to lift your hips up and reach your right arm towards the back of your mat. So good, big and expansive here. Full breath in and full breath out. And lower all the way down. Your left leg is gonna come long to meet the right. Reach your arms right out in front of you. Palms face one another and start to round your spine. It's okay if your legs are gonna drag here. Lower down inch by inch, rounding, rounding, and eventually your head and shoulders are gonna rest on the mat. Awesome, ground your feet. So bend your knees and plant your feet and bring your arms down alongside your body. Good, do this really slow. Press into the arms, press into the shoulder blades, push into your feet and lift your hips up super slow, holding right at the top for your bridge pose. Now, if you feel any tension in your low back or any pressure, maybe just drop your hips a couple more inches. Yeah, you don't have to lift up too, too high. Good, now maybe stay here or maybe start to reach your arms up towards the sky. Palms face one another. Good, a little bit of a challenge for stability here. If you're looking for more, you might lift your right heel up. So just your right tiptoes are on the mat, feeling a bit more strength into the left leg, and then drop your right heel down. Maybe lift your left heel up, feel it more on the right side, and drop your left heel down. Now round your spine, roll down slow, top of the back, middle of the back, all the way down to your low back and bring the bottoms of your feet to touch. Let your knees open wide into a diamond shape and let your arms open into a cactus shape. Deep breaths. Good, and then start to bring your legs back towards one another. Hug your knees in towards your chest, hold on to your knees or your shins and give your body a gentle rock side to side. Amazing, and when you're ready, you can just let your body land in a resting shape in Shavasana, legs out long, arms down alongside your body. Maybe the palms flip open. If you prefer to have your knees bent and feet grounded, you go for it. 
But let's just give ourselves a few short moments here to pause, to let our practice soak up. And to know that everything else that we get to do today, we'll get to it, you know? <laughs> this time is important. Taking that time for you to just be here in stillness in a space of rest and integration. My lovely friend, you are more than welcome to stay lying down for as long as you'd like. If you're feeling really good right now, then maybe give yourself a few more deep breaths here, or you can just even let this video finish if you want. If you're like, I'm hanging out here, I feel good, then I encourage you to stay. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I love sharing this movement practice with you. And if you ever have any questions, let me know. Comment below. What are you looking for? I'm happy to create something special for you. I hope to see you next time and have a lovely rest of your day.